Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around we are doing, or finally doing, the 2K subscriber uh, special q and A. I I guess I can say, 2,000, woo, 2,000. And as you probably can see, I am also, you know, I have a drawing thing right here, so we are also going to draw in this video. Because uh, I ended up only getting two questions, which I'm a little, I'm not super sad about, you know. I just expected to at least be a little bit of more, so that's why we are, you know, going to do paint, draw my life kind of deal. I'm just going to explain a little bit about my upbringing and stuff like that. There's also a question about, you know, how I started my YouTube channel, so we'll do that while in the, in the, in the question here. So this is the 2000 subscriber special, uh, you know, still like to do it, you know, but uh, let's see what the first question is, and it is about... Um, Brats that are saying congrats, man. You deserve every single subscriber and more. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you reached, hope you reach 100k or 100k or 10k would be amazing. Uh, his question is, How long have you been playing Troll and will you be uploading videos of other games? Because uh, I'll be interested in if you post gameplay videos of some kind. Uh, first of all, there is actually a lot of other gameplay. I did a little bit of uh, oh, and I can't remember the name. I did, you know, Stardew Valley. I did, uh, I've done some Minecraft. I know it's kind of similar to uh, Trove, uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I have been playing Trove. The first question is how long I've been playing Trove, and I've been playing Trove for uh, over four years now. Uh, I came back at the first year celebration, so this is the fifth year that I just did. And I played Trove before, uh, my friend introduced it to me, and this is when like U6 was like the, the biggest deal. And they started introducing dragons, and I kind of lost interest, interest in it because I started playing Path of Exile back then. I still play Path of Exile. There's also some, actually gameplay of that in, on the channel as well. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, so I started playing a little bit there, so when I came back to the game uh, four years ago, I, oh, I was like 1,100 and something uh, power rank back then. And that was, that was okay back then. Uh, not, uh, not huge or anything like that. But U6 was the highest you could do back then. So I played a little bit back, back then. If you go into my total days, I am like on almost 800, 1,800 days or something like that locked in. Uh, some days, uh, and my streak is 1,400. 586 or something like that. I can't remember. It's, it's around there. Uh, I'm over four years locked in every day. And, uh, you know, that might be not super impressive to you or whatever. But it's, I feel like it's kind of impressive because in that time I've also been traveling. So I ended up, you know, um, you know, still managing to lock in. Not doing anything in Trove, but uh, managing just to play a little bit uh, or at least log in so I got this streak going and I'm pretty satisfied with my streak so far um, it, it doesn't mean anything at all in locking into troll but uh, you know it's, it's just a fun thing that I can keep like oh it's, I still have it keep uh, going and since we have corona right now I can't travel anywhere so at least you know I'm home you know uh, can lock in every day and also my reset time is b when it's winter time here in denmark where i live uh it's at noon and then right now it's the summertime it's 1 uh, p.m in the mid of the day so there's a lot of opportunities uh, for me to lock in uh, either you know before i go to work or after i go to, uh, go, go off, get off work and stuff like that so plenty of time even if i have to do something during the day and, and like hang out with friends and stuff like that all right, so that's 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 the uh, long long time I've been playing Trove, um, and again about other games. Well, I'm not. I am looking into a couple of games right now, and I'm not going to reveal what it is. Uh, I'm going to have to find some time to play them and also upload some some uh, some footage of other games because that was uh, actually a few, that was actually the three questions. Uh, technically, I got uh, two questions, but the third was was a Sim, and he said that. Uh, he also would like to see some other gameplay. He didn't really have a question. He just said that he wanted to uh, see some other gameplay as well. And uh, um, I will, of course, uh, not not of course buy that. But uh, yeah, sure. I don't I don't mind playing other games and uploading some footage if that if feel you guys feel that's interesting. That's just uh, fun for me to do. 
So yes, there will be other games on the channel. So the next question is from Rhino, and Rhino said that he found my videos recently extremely helpful, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, he's trying to get to 515k power rank, that's of course in Trove. Since his community is small, I was wondering uh, what made you create your YouTube channel, and also he's also talking about other uh, games as well. Keep up the great work and stay safe. You stay safe as well. Everybody say stay safe out there. I just got a new, uh, I just ordered actually a, a protective mouth thingy, uh, what it's called. I'm not sure what it's called, Mun mouth thingy. Anyways, to protect, you know, because uh, we're getting the second wave of Corona now in Denmark. So um, might as well get one. You know, if I have to travel somewhere, it's good to have anyway. So it's a washable one. So uh, it only has a certain amount of washes, but You'll, we'll see how much I get to use it. Uh, it's not demanded in Denmark uh, at this moment. Uh, it's only like, a, if you want to use it, it will be great, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But maybe it's going to be like you have to use it. You don't know if it gets, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, more cases and stuff like that. So maybe they'll say, hey, you have to use it now. And then, of course, I'm going to use it. So it's good to have one around. But that was not <laughs> what I was supposed to talk about. But it is a big topic at the moment, right? But why or um, why I kind of uh, uh, what made me make a YouTube channel? Well, um, I first made a YouTube channel. Everybody has a YouTube channel, right? Like uh, or a user, right? Like uh, I already had already had a user, and then I started streaming, and then uh, you know there was a lot of people that said to me, "Well, you can gain viewers," you know. Uh, it basically goes hand in hand with the YouTube and the streaming. Uh, I know some people don't have it, uh, but you know, people watch your videos and then you, you link your stream in the description and people go check that out. You know, then they come check you out on stream, then they go back watching the videos and, and it kind of goes hand in hand. And that's why I made the, uh, the YouTube channel in the first place or started making videos. And um, I saw other people, you know, making videos, uh, you know, Scythe. Uh, he was, you know, making a lot of videos back then when I started playing Trove again and I watched a few of his videos and stuff like that. And it wasn't because I thought that I could do it better. I just thought that uh, there should be, you know, a, it's it's awesome that we have multiple. Uh, the more content creators there is, the better. Because, yes, I know some people want to, uh, well, it's bad for the people that wants to have a million subscribers, right? That there is more people doing the same content. For sure, because those people might not watch that. But the point is that it's a really good idea that uh, for a person that like me that just want to grow communities and just want to see everybody thrive uh, and just helping people as much as we can, uh, you know, that's why I love there's more content creators out there because uh, you might not love the videos that I do. Well, it probably is if you're watching this video, but other people, right, might not like the videos that I do. Maybe my videos are too long, too talkative, or uh, too all over the place. Like I probably am also in this video where I'm not really planned out what I'm going to say, but just, you know, saying it as I say it. And I do say the helpful information, I might just take a little bit too long to get to the point, as I'm also probably doing right now. <laughs> and, and that's just me. This is me. This is how I like to do things. And if you don't like that, that's cool. There might be other people out there. That's also why I did the State of Trove, you know, where I brought in other content creators on Trove, for example, and talking about Trove and talking about them and putting them in the spotlight, right? Putting them in the spotlight. They are, you know, they might say on stream, you know, hey, who had me on their po his podcast, you should go check it out, and they may be like me on that. Then they come watch me when the other guy is not online. And then I can host them. It's basically, so there's entertainment and information to people available all the time. That's the main part, because I just want, I just want to help people um, I can talk about this later on, but I can say now that I work as a teacher and I don't live off YouTube at all. It's just a little, you know, I do get a little bit of money. Um, I, I get paid by YouTube every third month or something like that when there is enough views on my, uh, you know, on my channel to get paid. So uh, if I had to live off YouTube, I would be, <laughs> I would probably not even have a, afford a computer or internet or showing you guys this video. So yes, I have a steady job and I love my job and I'll talk about that some more, I guess, uh, when we're going to do all the drawing things and whatnot. But that's why I started my YouTube channel to just help people. And that's what we still do on the, both on the Discord on the YouTube channel, I respond to every single comment there is. 
Um, sometimes the comments are, uh, you know, really great and some of them are bad. And I, I don't mind the bad ones, but I do like the, the, the good ones uh, more than that. So that was the two questions. I, I managed to get it up to 10 minutes doing that. So that's cool. But <laughs> let's continue to, oh, we got already this, uh, the 2000 subscriber special. Let me see if I can't find somewhere to raise this. That is really, really small. Can I get this? Oh, okay. That's that's not really super big. <laughs> oh, that's a small one. I thought you could make these bigger. I'm doing this in paint because I thought that was just going to be the easiest ones because uh, I'm not going to use like, you know, I wouldn't say photos, but like, uh, yeah, I could have probably, could I have done, okay, I've done that. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm not smart. Here we go. Uh, let me see the size. It's the biggest one. All right. So I'm going to draw a little bit of uh, my life and you guys, I can explain kind of how my how I got to where I am now, I guess. So this is me. I hope I'm in the screen. I'm gonna do a little 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 uh, square guy here. I'm gonna put a smile on his face and a little nose and an eye and an eye. So this is me. Um, so I grew up, uh, you know, uh, with my mom and dad until I was, uh, I think I was two or three years old. Two or three years old was where I uh, lived with my mom and dad. And then I got shipped to a space. No, that's not what happened. No, but my mom and my dad, unfortunately, you know, split up. So let me let me draw a heart here. So unfortunately, they broke up. They got divorced. Um, and let me let me do the. So yes, this is what happened. So they unfortunately they uh, broke up, and uh, it didn't really affect me uh, that uh, you know much. I can't remember much from back then. Uh, I was still very young, and I don't really remember much of it. But uh, then, you know, uh, very soon after, both my mom and my uh, and my dad, they found, uh, you know, people in their lives. And I'm going to draw my mom and my stepdad is over here. He has a very long arm. I see that. And this is my mom. <laughs> she also has a long arm. And over on the other side, my dad also found a woman that, you know, became my stepmom as well. Uh, and that was really great. So here is those. Oh, uh, I guess I made a nose <laughs> like that. And there we go. They don't have any hair. We don't have hair in Denmark, just so you know. Uh, my dad looks kind of kind of sad, but he was he wasn't he was happy. Okay, that's the happiest face you're gonna get, Dad. Sorry. And my stepmom also is there. So those two, of course, found ones when I was about about four years old. So it was very recent after that. So. I have known these people basically my whole life as well. And my stepmom had two uh, daughters from another relationship before my dad. And they are right here. And I have known these two uh, women as uh, I'm going to make. Oh, they're not. They have like weird faces as well. Uh, <laughs> kind of silly faces as well. But the two uh, daughters, uh, as my stepmom had, um, uh, can became my sisters as well. So when I talk, well, I, when I talk about them, I call them my sisters, even though they're not related to me at all. Uh, but you know, they are, you know, uh, they're, you know, family, right? So they're, they're like that. My mom and my stepdad got my little, uh, brother. Oh, he has a big head though. <laughs> he doesn't have that in real life though. <laughs> so he's here. Let's put a big happy face. Like, Cause he's a really, really happy guy uh, I love him to death and so he's my half brother that's closest I get to family but also I'm gonna also draw uh, oh he has also a big head but he, <laughs> I don't know why all of the men here over here has the big heads my stepdad also had a son from a previous relationship as well but unfortunately she went ahead and she died so it wasn't because they got divorced my stepmom and her uh, ex-husband got you know divorced uh, but my stepdad's wife actually passed away so it was really really sad uh, but he did get a son with her and he is now uh, also family uh, they've known of course him in as many years as you know there so at, it's getting up and around you know 30 years or something like that you know actually it's, I think it is 30 years now we've known each other for 30 years so basically um whole most of my life of course and of course the whole my little brother's uh life and also my bigger uh, a bigger brother as i i call him so they were they were all uh here and um 
my of course my 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 brother found a wife and he got uh three kids i'm just gonna <laughs> let's make three because uh, i'm not <laughs> it's taken a very long time to draw these guys so he got three sticks as children <laughs> no uh but he had uh, three children as well uh a boy a girl and then a boy and very awesome indeed as well so those are my nephews and uh, i love them to death as well also my sisters got a kid each so they also got a little stick there so little stick boys as well and uh, they got each got a son as well and i hang about I hang around them uh, quite often and they're really cool they're not as uh, these are older of course because my stepbrother is uh, or step big brother is older than uh, these are but that is basically my whole family, uh, how everything went to there. So let me talk a little bit about how I got to uh, to be who I am, I guess. And it all started when, um, you know, I, 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 in Denmark, we have grades from one to 10. And in the sixth grade, I actually met a guy. Uh, his name is Orn. And that guy uh, I became friends with. And I'm still friends with this guy since the sixth grade. And I'm now 30, almost 35, uh, 34. But first November, I turned 35. I've known this guy since the sixth grade. So he's my oldest uh, friend there is. And then I met a few, you know, other people here that I have, you know, haven't talked to in a while. Oh, is this, you can't see the top of this? Oh, it, it says 10, by the way. <laughs> um, but... Uh, the most of the people that I still talk to today, I met in the 10th grade. Uh, I met them in here and we bonded and made it, uh, you, you've been known to each other since the 10th grade now. So even though this guy I known a little bit longer, uh, these guys are also people I all, uh, still talk to uh, at least, you know, once a week or something like that. We're all busy, you know, they all have wives and, you know. <laughs> and kids and stuff like that now and houses and stuff like that you know i just have my little apartment here and i'm very happy about that actually but uh i get to uh i get to hang out with all their their kids right and now have none of the the, the bad stuff so i just get to hang out and have fun and and they get to do all the parenting stuff and that just suits me very very well <laughs> but anyways that was uh, that's it uh, about the friends and from that i went on to um, gymnasium as it's called here in uh, Denmark. Uh, I did take half a year to be an electrician actually. I tried to be an electrician uh, after half a year on school I decided that it wasn't really for me. I wouldn't I, I did it because my dad uh, is educated as an electrician and I thought that was you know that's all but math and stuff that's my favorite subject in in school it was math. I am um, had a lot of trouble in in school with dyslexia i still have that so um in danish i can still have trouble with some words you know seeing them in front of me and seeing the spelling and stuff like that it just doesn't come naturally to me um so but i don't have deep dyslexia where i can't you know uh, read things and uh, uh you know spell things and that's a lot about actually using it because in school i hated it i hated it so much so i just wanted to get away from it uh so when we had languages like danish we were learning danish you know writing danish spelling danish and and and, and also reading it and stuff like that i tried as much as i could to get away from it i just didn't want it in my life i hated it because people were saying oh it's so easy just do it and i was just i i can't i, I can't do it and i hated it so much so math just gave like uh, a lot more sense than you know because if you play if you take two plus two what's that it's always four right some people would say it's five but <laughs> two plus two is always four but if you put this word next to this word or you were doing it in the past or the present or the future whatever it, the, the, the words just you know did all sorts of weird things and i just like that doesn't make any sense and it was just i couldn't see it i couldn't see i couldn't hear it and I got tested for dyslexia, but I didn't get to. So I do tell people I am dyslexic because it's just easy, easy to say it. But I'm just very, very strongly uh, worded. Like I don't understand words. <laughs> so I don't know if that makes any sense. But I, I, uh, it would be spelling weak. That's uh, that's the, the, the translation in from Danish. I'm just very, very. Uh, I, I became better uh, as I grow up because I used it more by texting people and stuff like that. But I can still miss words and I can't read words that I don't know. I can't see 
like if people have them together like for example names on twitch and stuff like that it just doesn't make sense to me and people can spell them out i can't spell them out um so i'm not technically dyslexic because i wasn't you know i didn't get that stamp that said that was dyslexic but i just don't know it and i'm not trying to be rude against people and stuff like that i just hate it when i have to uh, you know, pronounce things, but I do want to feel people feel welcome when they do so. Some words, of course, some names, of course, make sense, but um, I just can't, I just can't do it. So anyways, that's enough about that. Uh, but uh, I tried to do, uh, you know, technician or electrician, sorry, uh, for half a year and I found out it was not for me. And then I just worked for half a year, so I can just plus a half a year. I started working in a, you know, where they make flowers. I made that for half a year. Didn't really know what I was going to do now that this was my plan. The electrician thing was my plan and now I couldn't do it. So I went on and I just worked for half a year and made some money and that was cool. But then when we, I, uh, you know, was done with this half a year, I had to figure out what I was going to do. And I still didn't really know what I was going to do. So I just took a uh, gymnasium for all the people that would be, um, that would probably like, if you're going to translate it into probably high school, you would kind of call it high school, probably, um, you know, that would be high school, like 11, uh, 12 and 13 grade. And that was it. So maybe I should go a little bit back and kind of understand tell you how I learned English or many people don't realize that I'm Danish because I don't have the accent and I got my oh, it's of course a practicing it practice oh see some words <laughs> practicing the uh, pronunciation and stuff like that but I actually learned English from the TV so of course I also learned it in in in, in uh, you know Eng uh, in English class but it was it was mostly from TV actually I got it from TV I um, you know watched a lot of uh, English TV because there was a lot of uh, English programs and stuff like that there was child's uh, and I just picked it up and that's kind of how I did learn English because that's what I'm speaking right now um, but from that I went to the gymnasium so let's draw a little gymnasium house uh, and it was mostly focuses on business actually there was this was uh, I can write a gym here <laughs> like that. So this was the gymnasium and I, I kind of liked the time there. It was really great. I should have definitely picked this uh, instead of trying to be an electrician, but I didn't know at the time, right? So it, it, it was focused most on business, but over the three years that I was there, um, there was as one a subject uh, in particular that kind of moved me in towards more hum uh, humanitarian subject and it was like kind of it was about a society so it's more about how businesses uh not cope with you know culture and stuff like that but how do they implement it and what do you have to be and it was also very humanitarian and that just got my focus and when i was done here i was supposed to do something in the business but I was just so much hooked on be, being human, uh, about humans, that I was just, I can't sit in an office 24-7 uh, and just, you know, look at numbers. I got to get out and I got to uh, meet people. I got to help people. I got to do something with people. And um, I took, I, I took, after the three years, I took a quite a radical decision and I became a teacher. So basically I'm not, uh, a real teacher but that's you know that's the closest it becomes to uh, not a teaching sub, uh, you know teaching uh, position but most people don't uh, don't know the word because it's a, a Danish it's a no it's a Scandinavian word so if I tell a Norwegian they know what it is but basically I'm a teacher but I also I'm more of a social skills like there's a teacher up in front teaching right and then I help the kids that might not have the uh, you know, know how about how to act in class, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to sit down with them, take it very slow and very easy because all kids are on different levels. We have really bright kids that just, you know, do everything right all the time. And then we have some that are really great kids still, but they just, you know, can apply themselves because they we are talking about kids in the, you know, in the, uh, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade. That's where the most of them, when they get older, they, can more control their self themselves and you know there's more of that but we also have uh as you know, i guess social skills teachers that also in that but not as much as we have in the those 
first grades. And it's very common in, in Denmark to have that. And then I basically, or is that for the kids? So, um, you know, kind of like, uh, uh, just a nice guy that helps them out with their homework and stuff like that. I guess you can call it like that. So I love my job. I love my job. And it took three and a half years to became a, a teacher like that. And it was absolutely, let me draw this little house where I, you know, um, where I got my education and it's there. And it apparently the windows are very, very out there. <laughs> so after three and a half years, I, I graduated uh, this and then I was out and you know I was supposed to find a job and I was uh, very fortunate to find a job very very quickly and I found one that's not too far away and it's very close to where I grew up as well which is cool I didn't go to this school uh, but uh, I know some people that did and it's a very amazing amazing school and I love to go to work every single day because every day is never the same because some days, you know, the kids have, some of the kids have a bad day and then there's more to do and some days it's not. And there's just, you get to do other things with them as well. And it's just a very, very amazing job. And I love it to death. And I would, I've said that I would never, uh, you know, quit YouTube or quit my job to do YouTube or Twitch uh, because it's just too unstable. If I had like a bajillion, you know, subscribers and stuff like that, I would probably do so. But um, I would rather have me, do uh, this uh, this job instead but getting this job i was pretty lucky uh i was um i was at a meeting uh with the union you get to go to the union and they say okay you are now in the union what do you want to do what do you want to go what do you want to see whatever and you go like yeah i'm cool i'm doing like this and do that okay and they'll they'll call you if they get a job it's very rare that they do but they can do so it does happen sometimes so either you you just apply for your own jobs and i started doing that i started applying for jobs and i didn't get any responses in the first month or something like that and then um a month and a half later you know uh, going unemployed uh i got call from the union they said hey uh, christian we uh, it's good that you picked up the phone you are actually the third one I'm, she was calling and the first two didn't pick up the phone so that was really good because then the the, the woman said and i remember this so in explicitly because um i was at my friend's house and since i had a lot of time and some of my friends back then didn't have much jobs or educations going on you know they were also in the transition of getting to what they wanted to do right so we had a lot of land parties so i was at a friend's land party for a whole week and they, she calls me, uh, uh, you know, on a Thursday and he said, she says, oh yes, like I said, uh, you're the third, you're the third caller. Hey, no, uh, it's good that I picked up the phone. She said, can you be at your, well, this work uh, place, right? Can you be there, uh, tomorrow at 10? So that's Friday at 10. I said, sure, of course I can. Um, fortunately my friend was there and he had a car so he could drive me I was just like hey can you drive me like 10 now just talk to this guy and you know we can go back and play some more video games right and he said yeah sure and I went there and I sat down with the guy uh, my former boss um, almost uh, 10 years ago now uh, he said and I said hey yeah sure I'll, I'll uh, be a part and, I, and, and my first thought was that I was just gonna stay there for a couple of years or something like that make a little money right uh, because education, you do get paid in Denmark to go to education, but it's very, very little. So I, I was not broke, but I had no money at all. So I was like, if I work there a few years, I can find somewhere else where I want to maybe uh, work. But now I've been there for 10 years at that school and I can't see myself going anywhere else. So I'm very, very happy of uh, what it was. And like I said, I stayed there five minutes. He gave me the job and I've been there ever since. So I haven't really applied for a lot of jobs to some people or gone, gone unemployed. I've always had something to do in my life and I'm very, very fortunate to have. So I am, I'm, I feel very, very blessed. Uh, I got to say that I feel very, very blessed. So that's my, where I am now, uh, you know, just having fun doing YouTube, doing Twitch, uh, hanging out with my friends when they got time, hanging out with their kids when they have time, you know, and I basically have the best of everything. You know, I have a, I have a good job. I have good friends. I have a good family. Uh, I have everything going for me. So I'm very, very happy. And, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't say anything about a girlfriend because, you know, it's really never, never been me. Um, I just, uh, you know, I've been, I've always looked for a girlfriend, but uh, I think I've never really been ready for one. <laughs> That's kind of deep, I know. But um, 
you may maybe so, someday it's going to happen maybe it's not i'm very just very happy about how how i'm doing or how my life is turning out as that right now i have uh, i have no uh, no regrets about anything yet <laughs> i gotta say yet because i don't know maybe making this video was a regret i don't know <laughs> i'll probably not but uh you know you never know but i have no regrets in my life and i am i feel very very blessed and even though i'm not a famous movie star or you know a famous singer or some people apply or famous on instagram whatever i think i am living a great great life and i am very very fortunate because there is people out there it's not going to turn into something political i'm just saying there's people out there that don't have a lot and sometimes my thoughts goes on those and i feel very blessed that i ended up where i am and not in some uh, poor country that is unfortunately uh, you know where there's wars or poverty or hunger and stuff like that i'm very very blessed and i i'm thankful that you guys also watch my video that you guys find it entertaining uh if it's for one second or for 10 hours thank you so much for all of this and thank you so much for 2000 subscribers i am very very fortunate and i hope that we're gonna get 3000 someday that'll be great we'll figure out uh, what we're gonna do for that one i'm very happy that i did this one and you guys know more about my uh, life and uh, you know and all in all i just uh, would like to be very very thankful let me see if i can get this and make a nice outro that'd be great let me get the smoke away there i don't know why there was uh, smoke we don't really don't have smoke on the school so there's no uh, things like that <laughs> i don't know what that was i, I want to don't want to break out myself so uh let me do like this i want to end with this here and i want to make a big heart because i love you guys with all of this so thank you again so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh keep watching hopefully if not thank you again uh, i just i just i'm so i'm so grateful i'm so happy thank you guys so much i really enjoy it so much thank you thank you thank you thank you and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>